Well, Don Quixote is a ballad um, based or inspired by the novel uh, Don Quixote de la Mancha, written by Miguel de Cervantes. And um, in a small town in Spain, uh, there's a young couple, Kitri and Basilio. Um, they are going to be very much the leading characters of the ballad. And um, it's going to be very much about their adventures and their efforts to be together. Well, it's a story about two young lovers um, in, in their journey to marriage. <laughs> and it involves a lot of random characters, such as a uh, crazy knight and a rich man and Mayas. And it's a fun, humorous story of uh, to the celebration of love. Or would you prefer more detailed? <laughs> Don Quixote is a ballet about life. That's all. First of all, you start always with the movement, no? But even before to start with the movement, uh, or at the same time, it's good to have uh, information about the meaning of everything. For the dancer, must have a meaning. If there is no a meaning of a movement, nothing happens, no? So art is an emotion, and the emotion came from I think from the meaning of an artist give to something when the things are, has meaning the emotions are there and I like or not I like I, this feeling I receive no and, and I think that's that's art the way you walk is like oh my god I don't remember this book was my last one where are the others you check your table and you continue uh, and you you don't remember you don't remember the book, eh? so we must, yes, 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 this idea, like, uh, mm -hmm. you, we must see that you are not comfortable, why? Because you are getting crazy, suddenly you became crazy, only Sancho brings you to the earth. <laughs> I think uh, he has so many good things, Don Quixote, no? He's uh, somebody who, who came from nothing and he loved to read and he has a lot of information but so much that he became crazy because nobody he nobody gave him a direction from time to time he don't know where is the the the, the, the reality and where is the, the 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 history he reads in the book mixed it and he has the cocktail and he invent his own fantasies no Don Quixote. He's a gentleman. He's a gentleman and uh, uh, he's uh, elegant, in, in naturally elegant. So he is uh, a man who, in some way, wants to continue living. Like humans, we try.
all the time. Petri, everybody wants to be with Petri because she's the most uh, beautiful lady. You can say a star of the village. She knows she's beautiful, she knows she's fun, she's easygoing, uh, flirty, she kind of enjoys life. I think very unburdened in a way. I, I read this once um, about uh, Kitri, and it was like a description of uh, the character where she was presented as the feisty, willful heroine of the ballet de Don Quixote. She's young and very strong and um, with a wild spirit and she definitely will not, she's not a damsel in distress and um, she will fight for what she wants. She de defied her father um, to be with her love. She's in love with Basilio, but they, they just play around. Ah, yeah? yeah? Why? Okay. 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 Good. For Victor and Eduardo, it was more about um, to go through this role, not just about the steps, and, but it was also about dancing, passion, enjoying, um, just be on stage and be yourself just in, in another mood. There's a certain basic storyline to follow, but then the certain who you are as a person, you can really put in your own uh, character in within that storyline. <laughs> Esa esencia de lo que es el flamenco, esa, ese, ese aroma español que no se lo puede dar más que un español. Y de hecho, con mi compañía he hecho muchísimas cosas eh, con eh, aire español, con ese estilo muy característico nuestro, ¿no? ese braceo, ese gesto, esos desplantes, esas, esa forma de, de, de abordar el movimiento. It's very authentic because um, choreographically it's, it's different and there are moments that I think uh, they're very epic like in Don Q, some moments that you always see in any version regardless how different uh, it may be. I think this one is very very well stylized. There's a lot of details and as you said it's very stylized so that um, that I find they make all the difference, like all these little details of how you even hold the fan or the way you position the arms and the hands. And, um, and if you do it well, it just takes it to a different level, but it's so easy to dismiss. And that's what kind of in most other versions, it's not really paid attention to. You just do the more general, generic arms. Um, so I find it very beautiful in this version, but also a big challenge because your body, as I said, like it knows other versions, so you just automatically want to do something, then you realize actually it's uh, <laughs> just a little bit different. Besides the high of the of the of the of the fan, is always there is a, a place and the way, yeah, how you. Okay, so officially always is 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 this, but this on the side because normal this is the official way, but also this. Small diagonal, not like this, also is, is, is nice. Yeah, I drop it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it has to be very well done, otherwise it looks very wrong. It can't just be, um, yeah, you can just use the fun uh, like the way we've been always um, have. It has a proper way. You have to, to look into like the directions, like the way you direct your wrist so that you actually see the fan, otherwise it looks in a weird direction. And so there is a lot of kind of awareness of how you open it and close it. And it's, uh, again, I think it makes all the difference if you do it well. The original music has the, pure, the perfume of of Spain with the fandango, that yeah, yeah it's, it's there, but it's the originality became more close with with the guitar, because also uh, the, the the original steps uh, trying to be Spanish steps. Now with our hand, 
are really close to the, to the Spanish culture because we know exactly how you move a hand or, or the attitude of the body of the torero uh, is uh, the position of the back, the opposition from the hips to the back uh, makes the difference. Not the, you don't know why it looks Spanish, but we, we know why. <laughs> Victor was born dancing, he started dancing flamenco and, uh, and after became classical dancers, no? Uh, and he knows everything about the, the really de detailed the flamenco. Victor knows how to play very good castanet. He danced Escuela Bolera very good. He, uh, his first company was, was with Antonio Ruiz Soler, was, uh, was flamenco company. No Escuela Bolera, was flamenco company. Es, ese ritmo, esas palmas, esos, eh, ese taconeo, esa, es, eh, pues esos desplantes, esas cosas que están dentro de, de los gitanos de, de esta obra. Y también, bueno, pues eh, darle pequeñas pinceladas pues a, a la taberna, por ejemplo, esos braceos, esas cosas que, 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 el, que, el, que el español tiene, ¿no? Eh, eh, en fin, no sé, la verdad es que lo hice y fue, eh, ha sido muy, muy gratificante para mí porque el público como que les llega al corazón, les llega en lo más profundo de, de su ser, ¿no? For me or for Victor, the guitar is something who makes uh, the sound of the, the guitar makes you more relaxed in some way, has something sexy also inside, no? The guitar is something, an uh, uh, instrument perhaps, because I, I was born listening to the Spanish guitar. Yes, the guitar actually, I have to say that it's, um, it's changed a lot. It's make a different atmosphere. It's make a romantic mood and this sound of this guitar, it's, uh, it become almost a partner to dance with. I really like in the Pantoda in the first act when, um, when the guitar comes in, it just, it, it melts everything. Like you feel... Changes um, the way you move. Yes, I think your body reacts immediately when you hear this beautiful sound. The beauty and the, the 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 beauty and the dark side of the dance of the ballet is that you will never. Uh, how could be something perfect? Who will say this is perfect? Never. You can. You know even your, your best day dancing. You know that everything could be better. Everything. Never you arrive to the top. For me, it was like this. When I understand that I will never arrive to uh, this perfection, but only to try, only to know what uh, you have and you have not. Even with my worst and horrible things, nobody will be like me. This is, this is the, the mature moment of the dancer. I think no matter how modern uh, our society is, they will always want to um, see this balance because uh, they want tradition and history and they want the magic and delusion. And Don Quixote is a ballet that has all that and it's fun. It's very simple. Um, like you said, the dancers are having fun, the audience, uh, they also have fun. So. I think it will always be a success in any city or country where it's presented.